Mm. All right. Well, good afternoon, people, and welcome to a serious, serious oh, sorry. bow tie Friday. We normally uh, we normally sort of act a fool a little bit in the Friday afternoon, and that's great because it keeps us certainly happy, and it keeps everybody watching out there a little bit happy. But I wanted to just prove to everybody out there that we can be a little bit serious about what we do as well, yes. because uh, in turn, cleaning up water for the environment. I think is a, a very serious thing and it's nice to be able to come to work every day and be able to do something for the environment and obviously help people out with what they're doing yep. uh, with their contaminated water and all that sort of thing. So from that, thanks for able to help you, everybody that's out there and also um, thanks to the environment, shout out to the environment. So uh, last week we did bilge water and bilge cleaning. We did, we um, did. And we touched on the marine side of things. And mm. this week, what I'd like to do is talk about a little unit, which we have in the past a little bit called a MAC unit or our MySelex Advanced Coalescing Unit. And it's used for free and dispersed oil to take that off. But what I thought I'd do slightly different this week is I would bring in some show and tell. So a few years ago now, uh, we did a sample and a trial on some water which was from a feed and as you can see there's a fair bit of water in there that settled out and so the water's down here yep this band here is the emulsified absolutely and the free oil here and then we got the free oil on the top so okay. this is what we were looking at basically that came through and this we looked at around about nine percent effectively coming through so there's about nine percent of oil in that in that sample when we actually got it through. So there's a fair amount of hydrocarbon and a fair amount of oil in that that we were starting with. Um, after going through our MySelect uh, MAC unit, um, we were able to recover basically 99% of the oil. So 95 to 99% of the oil was recovered. And I think uh, a few of you would possibly remember that I talked about Stokes Law um, a little while ago in an earlier episode, but effectively, the, the advanced coalescing unit that we've got, um, the MySelect supersaturates, um, that releases the oil, Stokes Law, that rises to the surface, and that is then a valve opens up. We've got an oil water interface which senses the oil that we've got in that unit, and that opens the solenoid and pushes the oil out. So we recover 95 to 99% um, straight oil. That um, is very slick looking. Out of yeah. our unit. So obviously, as a waste component, if yeah. you've got to get rid of your oil, you're not getting rid of water and oil, which is a which is a big thing. So obviously for the waste companies, easier, easier for them to deal with. And mm. as a company getting rid of it, cheaper for CapEx and that sort of thing. Absolutely. So what was the finished product like, Chris? Okay, so the finished product after we went through um, and we removed obviously um, the, uh, the water out, we got the oil out, we were yes. left effectively um, after a couple of little polishing filters at the end, with less than 0.1 ppm effectively in terms of wow. water quality. So this is what, and it's a simple unit, it's just a skid mounted unit. Um, these come in different sizes, obviously. Mm. Um, but when I say a skid mounted unit, probably something like two and a half or three meters by three meters. Um, it has the MAC unit on it, as well as the polishing filters with it as well. Um, very simple. And for a lot of the offshore and gas guys, We've actually put these onto unmanned platforms because we can run oil content monitors. So as as the water comes in to be treated, if the oil content monitor says that it's okay and that it can be discharged, um, that water will be just sent straight over the side. Um, if there's a spike or an event, um, what happens with that then is that the oil content monitor senses that there's obviously too much hydrocarbon in there, and then it'll it'll pass that water through the filters in order to uh, clean it up and do what it needs to do to bring it down for discharge. So. There's a number of cases, and please, um, I've said to Sasha a couple of times, we've got all the answers or a lot of the answers in terms of water treatment, but we don't have a lot of the questions. And obviously we don't know what the pain level is out there with a lot of people. Um, but if you have a issue with um, water that you need to treat, obviously remove hydrocarbons um, and things from, please get in touch with us um, because it's what we do and it's our skill set. Yeah, and so, as we're not running this live, we would have, this is question time, but uh, just send a message below if you've got questions, want to know a little more. Mm. Again, get the answers. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. And as it's Bowtie Friday, I am sporting a 
slightly different little bow tie today, but uh, very nice. Shop. And I would have a mm -hmm. shout out to say that I'd like to bring the bow tie back. I think it's really good. Also, it doesn't get caught in anything. And if you happen to be having soup or any eatings for lunch, you find that it doesn't uh, that it doesn't get stuck in that either. So it is quite mm -hmm. a uh, quite a good it's a good very, piece for that. Very very practical. Oh, H and S. If I'm using a drill, I don't have a problem with it getting caught in any of my power tools, which is very nice. Good all the answers, Chris. Try to. Sometimes it doesn't happen though. But we'll work through that. So that's all good. So um, what's come? Yeah. So I Fantastic. think. So I think. Ooh, look, Mac. Oh, hang on a minute. Did we have anything here? Um, effectively, one of the main things, probably that I just to to go a little bit off script, is probably down the bottom of the bottom of this one that we've got down here. Whoa, I don't know, Sasha, whether, whether you can. Hang on a minute. We'll just get the cameraman to uh, adjust. Yeah. We can do a little bit. Uh, get the cameraman to adjust. A, a bit of a pan and tilt, but it was more this this little unit that we've got down here. Now, um, as you can see here, there's 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 three housings. Now, this is on an offshore platform, and effectively, the the big red square that you see there was an original GAC um, treatment unit that was on this pl platform. And that is now being replaced by three small Mycelex housings, which are doing exactly the same job that the GAC was doing. Um, so, you know, obviously that just sort of um, says what size our footprint is. And obviously when it, when it comes to offshore platforms, if you're trying to add a piece of plant to take care of anything, um, size and obviously space that it takes up is massive. So. Um, get in touch with us and all of our um, items and all of our bits and pieces um, we can actually deal with and do everything that we can um, and help you out with those. So we just wanted to basically show you a bit about that and then, uh, yeah, take it from there. So all good? All good? All good. Thanks, cameraman. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks, cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, look, we've got some exciting things coming up. Um, oh, my gosh, yes. We do. We do. Um, obviously, you know, a really, really big thing for us, um, which we'll have more about um, in the coming weeks, is, is obviously AOG, um, which is mm. massive. And I know you've got some pretty exciting things that are happening. Yep. So we'll let you know about those next time we're on. Oh, um, should we give them a little sneak peek? Okay, give them a give them. All a right, little. fine. Yay! Uh, sorry, keeping it serious and real for our filter viewers. Um, on the second day of the AOG, I definitely know it's at three thirty that afternoon. Us, the team of Oleology, well, some of us. There'll be a few of us. Uh, but we'll be there actually, and we will be speaking at uh, at one of the exhibits at the Knowledge Forum. We've been asked to come in and speak and talk about the innovative technology that we're in using. We're further enhanced for Australian conditions. So if you are around at three thirty, head over to the Knowledge Forum. Uh, it's about the uh, it's in the drilling and uh, and completeness. Uh, sector. So we will be speaking and we're looking forward to come see you there. Fantastic. All right. Um, that's one of the things we'll show that, you. The that's rest later. Yeah, yeah, obviously, there's a few <laughs> more things to come. So, um, look, it's been great. Have a good, safe weekend. Um, we say it all the time check on your people, make sure they're okay, make sure they're yes. where, where, where they need to be um, mentally and that they're coping um, because sometimes people aren't. It's good just to check on them. Um, and as we say always when we finish, Stay well, stay happy, and value your time.